why is it important to incorporate the symbiotic design framework into your design process? Design has played a significant role in contributing to the anthropogenic climate change, or the Anthropocene. As a creative discipline, design has contributed to strengthening social, economic and political models that have impacted the environment. While the responsibility and influence of designs are recognized from the start of the process until the delivery of the final product, what happens before and after the process is not considered. It is crucial to understand the true impact of products and the real value they hold. Designers need to look beyond the sexy aspects of design and consider the hidden moments in the production process that have an impact on the environment. Although design is not solely responsible for the climate change, it has been a major contributor. It is important to note that not everything around us has been designed, but everything created by humans modifies the environment. Design is a discipline learned through education and perfect through its exercise and research. There is a community dedicated to its application and development, which collectively makes decisions about its exercise. It is crucial to understand that not everything around has been designed, otherwise studying design will be pointless. The collective of designers has been agreeing and building a series of rules, methodologies, processes and countless ways of teaching and exercising the profession. They have been generating the way in which we face the challenges we face, making design a systemic and complex discipline. Even as designers we can take accountability for everything humankind does, we can take accountability for what designers do. Design is facing complex problems, such as global warming and the Anthropocene, and therefore it must define its field of action. Understanding the boundaries in design relations allows designers to interact with other disciplines and define problems in terms of what design is capable of, thus being able to delegate what it can't do. When defining challenges in terms of design, it allows designers to understand the emergency that leads to the action of design, which is the motive, urgency, desire and need that leads them to project. Projecting involves thinking about the future and launching ideas towards a time to yet to come, and it requires a holistic view in spatial and temporal dimensions. Designers must pay attention to the relationships their projects have with their environment, ecological niches and communities if they want to make a positive impact. Sustainability cannot be limited to the material aspects of the products. It should also account for the extraction, contamination and destruction of the processes and tools used. The degradation and the abuse of workers and affected communities. Designers should care about these relationships and consider them in their projects to have any chance of making a positive impact on the environment. Thank <laughs> you.